Problem number 3, we have tx, t differential x, or t derivative of x with respect to t is equal to 6t e raised to 2t plus x times the quantity 2t minus 1. So, what we'll do first here is we will multiply 1 over t. Okay, let's multiply 1 over t. So, we'll have uh, differential x or derivative of x with respect to t is equal to 6e raised to 2t plus x times 2t minus 1 all over t. And then, let's... Uh, Let's transpose this term to the other side of the equation and get it and put it into a differential form. So I will now have differential x minus x times 2t minus 1 all over t okay, is equal to differential t is equal to 6e raised to 2t differential t. Okay, so what I now have is a linear differential equation which has x as its uh, dependent variable. So this is linear in x. So therefore, our p of t, our p of t is equal to 2t minus 1 all over t. Okay, the, let's not forget the negative sign there. So the negative of. Uh, so if I will distribute the negative, then this will be uh, 1 minus 2t all over t. So therefore, my integrating factor is equal to v is equal to e raised to the integral of 1 minus 2t all over t quantity differential t. Okay? So let's go ahead and uh, write that on the next page. Integrating factor is equal to e raised to 1 minus 2t all over t, 1 minus 2t all over t, differential t. So if I will uh, distribute differential t over t, then this will be the integral of differential t over t, and this term will now be 2 differential t. So I will arrive at e raised to ln t minus 2t, or that will also be ln t times e raised to negative 2t. And we know that e raised to ln t is simply t. Then this will be e raised to negative 2t. So that is our uh, integrating factor. Now, if we multiply our integrating factor here. No? So let's uh, copy that one. Or let me say... This is the you know, this is the equation wherein we will multiply our integrating factor. So we have differential x. I'll check if I can you know, if I can uh, okay. let me check. Okay, wait a minute here. Okay, I was trying to uh, I was trying to copy the the expression, but uh, I cannot copy it, so let's go ahead and write it on the next page. We have differential x. Here we have differential x. Differential x minus x times 2t minus 1. 2t minus 1 all over t is equal to, so this is differential t, is equal to 6e raised to 2t differential t. Okay, so I will multiply the integrating factor t e raised to negative 2t. So if I will multiply that here, I will now have t e raised to negative 2t differential x minus uh, x xt so t will ca be cancelled out okay in that case so I will remove t and this will be x e raised to negative 2t times 
2t minus 1 differential t is equal to 6e raised to 2t differential t. Okay, actually e raised to 2t will also be cancelled out because we have here e raised to negative 2t. So this will be cancelled out. So what I now have here, this will be the differential of x times t e raised to negative 2t and this will be simply 6 differential t. So you can uh, check in your own time whether these three terms constitute uh, this differential. Okay, so I will go ahead and uh, integrate. So integrating both sides, then my answer will now be x t e raised to negative 2t. Then this will be minus uh, 6t. Okay, so I multiplied here t, so this, this should have t as well there. So this should be 6t differential t. Okay, so this will be now 6t squared all over 2 is equal to c. And then uh, simplifying that, no? simplifying that, the final answer would be xt e raised to negative 2t. So this one cancels out, it will become 3 t squared is equal to c. Okay, so that's the final answer. Let's go to our uh, next problem. This time we will uh, solve a particular uh, solution for uh, an exact differential equation. So let's say I have uh, 2x, problem number 4, I have 2x plus 3 y prime is equal to y plus 2x plus 3 raised to 1 half. And then the particular solution is that when uh, x is equal to negative 1, y is equal to 0. Okay? So, as you can see here, no, you have 2x plus 3y prime. Then this is equal to y plus 2x plus 3 raised to 1 half. I can multiply 1 over 2x plus 3. And I will arrive at y prime is equal to y all over 2x plus 3 plus so this will now become 1 over, or let's, uh, let's just say 2x plus 3 raised to negative 1 half. So if I'll put this into differential form, this will now be differential y and then transpose this one. So this will become y times 1 over 2x plus 3. Then differential x is equal to 2x plus 3 raised to negative 1 half differential x. So what I can uh, see here that uh, is that this is a linear differential equation wherein y is your dependent variable. So your p of x in this case is equal to 1 over 2x plus 3. And our uh, integrating factor is equal to e raised to uh, 1 over the integral of uh, differential x over 2x plus 3. Okay, So we can see here that this can be solved by a logarithm and your u is 2x plus 3 so therefore the differential is of that is uh, 2 differential x and you'll have a balancing factor of 1 half. So this will now become 1 half ln of 2x plus 3 and this will simply be uh, ln of uh, 2x plus 3 raised to 1 half so therefore this will be 2x plus 3 raised to 1 half so if I will now multiply 2x plus uh, 3 raised to 1 half to this differential equation then I will obtain 2x plus 3 differential y 
minus uh, y times 2x plus 3. This is uh, raised to 1 half, okay? So, you have 2x plus 3 raised to negative 1 half. Differential x, and then this is uh, simply equal to differential x, okay? So reviewing this problem, I see that we forgot to, I forgot to include the negative sign here. So let's just uh, include that here. So this will be a negative one half. That would be negative. So the correct uh, integrating factor is uh, 2x plus 3 raised to negative one half. So this will be negative one half. And then, since this is negative 1 half, then therefore, instead of uh, negative 1 half here, let me erase that. The correct exponent would be 3 halves, negative 3 halves for that matter, because uh, this is, this is going to be 1 over 2x plus 3 raised to 1 half. And if you add that here, then that would be 3 halves put it in the numerator so that would be negative 3 halves now instead of uh, simply differential x in the left side of the equation this will now become since this is uh, negative 1 half so we have negative 1 half this is uh, this is 1 over and this is also this will also become 1 over so therefore this is uh, simply differential x over 2x plus 3 so if you will check no if uh, you will check the left side will now be the differential of the quantity 2x plus 3 raised to negative 1 half times y okay you can uh, check that right away because uh, first term you have 2x plus 3 raised to negative 1 half differential y and then the next you have y y times uh, the derivative of this one so you would have to uh, you would have to put negative one half down right and then well, negative one half minus one is uh, negative three halves and then the differential of 2x plus 3 is 2 therefore cancelling one half okay so this is equal to the integral of uh, 2x differential x over 2x plus 3. So if we go to our next page, the answer is now 2x uh, plus 3 raised to negative 1 half times y is equal to. So this one you have the uh, we have uh, solved that a while ago actually. You have ln 1 half ln of 2x plus 3 plus c. So you can uh, transpose this term. No? If we will multiply 2 first to simplify, we'll have 2y over the square root of 2x plus 3. And then this will be cancelled minus ln of 2x plus 3 is equal to c. So that is our uh, general solution. Now we have a particular solution. Well, we have a particular case, no? Which is uh, when x is equal to negative 1, y is equal to 0. So if I will substitute the first term, since y is 0, then therefore that is already cancelled. So let's say 2 times 0 over the square root of 2 times negative 1 plus 3. Okay, this is already 0. So minus ln of negative uh, negative one times two, then plus three, so that would be one is equal to c. So the ln of uh, one or the natural logarithm of one is also zero. So therefore, c is uh, equal to zero. So if I will go back here, if c is equal to zero, then 2y over the square root of 2x plus 3 minus ln of 2x plus 3 is equal to 0. And that will now be your particular solution. So let's recap what uh, 
what I have discussed regarding regarding linear differential equation. So for the steps, we simply have to uh, the first step. Let me change the pen. The first step is to put the differential equation in the form differential y plus p of x times y differential x is equal to q of x dx. So the purpose of that is so that you could clearly see p of x. You could clearly determine p of x because that will uh, be the basis of your integrating factor which is e raised to the integral of p of x dx. Okay? After uh, solving for the integrating factor, we will uh, multiply the integrating factor to our to our differential equation and it will now result to e raised to the integral of p of x uh, differential x times uh, differential y plus e raised to the integral of p of x dx times p of x times y dx is equal to uh, e raised to p of x dx times u of x dx. So as I've said in the first video, this is a function of x alone. So you can integrate that. And this would now be the differential of uh, e raised to the integral of p of x uh, dx times y. So let's say this would be a new function. Let's just say this will now be t of x dx. So integrating will now be easy and it will result to your solution. Okay, so I hope you have learned something from this uh, three-part video.